station. This is Dr. Lucy Lowe. How do you hear me? We have you loud and clear, Lucy. It's so good to hear your voice. Peggy, the whole crew, it is fantastic to both see you and hear you today. Greetings, AX4 crew. This is Axiom Space Chief Scientist, Dr. Lucy Lowe. I am so excited to talk to you today about the science and technology demonstrations and the research that you guys have been uh, uh, doing on the International Space Station as part of AX4. So Peggy, it has been such a pleasure watching you guys work through the research on this mission as we continue to expand the community of international scientists around the world that are bringing research onto this incredible, unique orbiting lab. So uh, if you guys weren't scientists before you went up on AX4, then you most certainly are now. So with that, I'm going to go through and ask the team some questions about what you've been up to while you've been uh, busy on this mission. So Peggy, I'm going to start with you. So can you tell us a little bit about some of the breadth of the research that the team has been doing uh, while up on station and some of the research that you've particularly enjoyed? Well, there's been a lot of research going on up here. Everything including cell biology, cancer research, human physiology, plant growth studies. And in addition to that, technology demonstrations for future spaceflight and exploration. So we are really excited about all the research that has been going on. Axiom 4 is a government-sponsored research mission uh, for a global space community. So not only are we representing the four countries here, but we also have an additional four countries that we're also supporting including Hungary, Saudi Arabia, Brazil, Nigeria, UAE, that's more than four. Okay, <laughs> but anyway, these, these, this partnership um, really remains strong for our community. It's a strong focus for Axiom Space. And one great example that I'm working on is um, our partnership with Brazil uh, in enabling uh, further uh, uh, achievements in the ability for a diabetic person to fly in space. We hope that one day we will be able to open up space uh, to people who have diabetes uh, by testing out new technologies and new hardware up here on orbit. And so that's been a really interesting one for me. That's fantastic. Yes, thank you, Peggy. Uh, what a what a tremendously broad range of science from across the world that you've you've been doing for us. So thank you on behalf of all the researchers down here. So next, I'm going to move along to Shooks. So Shooks, I know you've been very busy with your research that has been brought up from India. Can you tell me about some of the research you've been doing and why it's been particularly interesting and exciting? Of course. Thank you so much for your question. Uh, I would agree, yes, I have been very busy since the time we have come doing a lot of research on the station. <laughs> and uh, I'm very excited and um, uh, this, is, this mission is actually kind of opening the doors for microgravity or space research for Indian researchers and scientists. And I'm so proud that ISRO has been able to collaborate with national institutions all over the country and they came up with some uh, fantastic research which I am doing on the station for all the scientists and researchers and it is it is exciting it is uh, it is a joy to do this and uh, there are uh, the and the research spans you know various domains various uh, disciplines uh, right from doing some stem cell research and uh, to growing some seeds seeing the effect of microgravity on seeds also evaluating the cognitive load on uh, astronauts while they are interacting with screens on board the station so it has been fantastic uh, uh, and i feel proud to be this kind of bridge between the researchers and uh, the station to conduct this research for, on behalf of them. Uh, one particular uh, you know, research which I am really excited about is the stem cell research wherein the scientists are trying to explore that whether by adding supplements to uh, the, you know, the stem cells is it possible to accelerate the uh, recovery or the growth or uh, to repair the injury. And uh, it has been great to work in the glove box uh, doing this research for them. And I'm just really, really excited to be doing this. And I'm extremely proud of all the teams who have worked together to put up this uh, research for us. Uh, and uh, just happy to be here doing this for them. Thank you. 
Thank you, Shooks. That's fantastic. And thank you for all your hard work doing all of the science in the glove box and for the entire ISRO portfolio. Uh, next, I'll move on to Suave about some of the work you've been doing for both ESA and the Polish Space Agency. What have you been enjoying working on uh, in terms of the science since you got up to orbit? Hi, Lucy. Great to talk to you and thank you for, for the question. Uh, I have been enjoying this time tremendously and I have been working myself as a scientist before and now I can execute and conduct science for others. I, uh, the, so this is, this is a tremendous honor and privilege to, to be here. Our research spans over many, many different domains from, from human sciences to engineering and physics. Uh, some of, uh, of the highlights, uh, for me at least, during this time on, on the ISS, we, we had a chance to demonstrate the first brain-machine interface in space, where the, the direct measurement from our brain guided certain actions on the computer, which um, happened for the first time in space, and this is, uh, this is something I, I'm really proud of, and I congratulate to scientists on, on Earth. Uh, I've been working on nanomaterials, new um, technologies that potentially could be new wearable sensors in, in near future. I have been working as well on radiation research and radiation dosimetry in space, where we took technologies from CERN, my organization, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, through a Polish company um, that uh, commercializes products now and tests on the International Space Station, which, uh, which, which is amazing. Besides all that, a lot, a lot of human sciences. So we have been conducting eight different experiments um, from psychology to physiology, which, uh, which has been so far great. We are more or less mid-mission and there is still a lot, a lot to come uh, that I can't wait to, to contribute to. Thank you. Fantastic, Suave. And so as you point out, you guys have been busy, busy, busy since you got there, but there's still lots to do. So with that, uh, I'd like to ask Tibor about some of the work that he's been doing for the Hungarian portfolio. So Tibor, you've been very busy with some of the research. Can you tell us about some of the work you've been doing? Hey Lucy, it's great to talk to you, great to hear your voice. As you said, busy, 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 and I believe that rhymes with tibi, tibi, tibi. Uh, we <laughs> have got a great time here, uh, but indeed we have been super busy. Uh, we as Hungarians, we brought 25 experiments. Uh, all those experiments are coming from Hungarian researchers, uh, companies and universities. Some of them who has been already in the space sector, uh, because we have a 45 years of uh, experiments, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, experience I'm so sorry um, but uh, but also some new players um, as you know part of the Hunor program we are super proud uh, that we could introduce them uh, to this growing uh, space sector we brought also a variety of um, of research uh, we brought um, brain measurements as well I'm happy to re report that I have one uh, we are investigating a lot of uh, brain uh, activities also in space and also as Hungarians we have a huge space heritage in dosimetry as well uh, we brought more than 10 uh, dosimeters uh, on board and it has been a great fun to deal with those we're also conducting human science um, which has been a great part uh, of, uh, of our, uh, of our uh, mission you know uh, and because of that, I'm extremely proud of the, uh, mean, uh, both of the Hunor colleagues and also the researchers who brought uh, these experiments uh, with me on board. It's a huge joy to, de uh, to do this. All the physical experiments uh, that we have been trying to do in, in space, it was actually extremely big fun. I know that my uh, guys at home, they were watching and cheering us uh, when we were uh, doing our best, especially with Peggy, uh, conducting all those, all those research with so much water on board. And lastly, I would like to also mention one which has been the biggest fun, basically, for me. Also the biggest fun because it's super surprising. Um, I think I'm taking uh, gardening as a hobby or a plan B after, after being an astronaut because I'm happy to report that my radishes and weeds are growing extremely fast, uh, much better than expected, and also the peppers are coming up as well. So we have, a, we have had a great time here.
That's fantastic, Tibor. It's so great to hear that you've been having fun doing the science and uh, maybe you guys will have to hold off on eating the peppers and get those results back down to the researchers first. But I could sit here and talk about the science with you guys all day. I'd love to hear more about what you're doing, but I think we might have to save that for when you return back to Earth. So I think we have to round up. So I'm going to thank you again, AX4 crew, for connecting with me today for all of the hard work that you're doing for researchers across the world and especially from the countries from which uh, you've come from uh, we know how grateful they are for all your hard work and everything you're doing right now is opening the door for more scientists and researchers in futures around the world to contribute to and advance really exciting and important and groundbreaking research in microgravity so again thank you and with that we'll see you back in houston all right well thank you so much lucy for taking the time to share our research uh, with the world. We really appreciate it because we're very excited by it. Thank you. Take care. We'll see you.